Hey guys, and today we're taking a look at this, the American DJ Dots Blood. Let's take a look. The Dots Flood is a very robust fixture. It features an entirely metal case and has a really solid build quality to it. This definitely earns it the title of being built like a tank. On the front we have a set of barn doors which open up to reveal the LEDs. You can use the barn doors to accurately control the throw of light, allowing you to perfectly position the light onto a dance floor or focus onto an area on stage. To mount the fixture we have a locking yoke. You can either set up the light on the ground and angle it where you need, or attach a clamp and rig the light onto a T-bar or truss. Just make sure you consider the T-bar or truss weight limit, as this is quite a heavy lighting fixture for an LED flood, coming in at just under 8 kilograms. This fixture is actually fan cooled, with a pair of fans on one side of the case. This does help the fixture to stay cool during operation, but does produce quite a bit of noise, which is fine if you're in a DJ environment, but if you want to use this in, say, a very small theatre, you may have some noise issues. In the front, we have a pair of magnetic clips, which allow you to attach a filter to the front of the light. Perfect for use with the ADJ LSF light shaping filters. On the back, we have all of our connections. Starting on the left, we have our wireless sync button and antenna. I'll explain what that's for in a minute. Then you have your IEC power input and output, a microphone for sound active, a connection for your UC3 remote control, and the three pin DMX connections. Finally, we have our backlit digital display to change all the settings and parameters. So the DOTS Flood features COB LED technology. This stands for chip on board. So that's six 30 watt RGB tri LEDs. I can't even begin to compare that to say a Megapar profile or the MegaGo Flood bar. This is on another level. You get a really nice even color wash with no RGB shadows to worry about. This fixture has a 60 degree beam angle which makes it perfect for washing large areas like a dance floor or stage. So to give you a better understanding of what that 60 degree beam angle actually means, I've set up a little demonstration. I've got a white projection screen hung across a 3 metre piece of truss, and then I've set up the dots flood about just under 2 metres away from the screen. And as you can see from that distance, the dots flood easily covers that large projection screen, giving a nice even wash. If we go into the digital display, we have some quite advanced controls. You can adjust the dimming curve of the fixture with 5 different modes, and you can even change the white balance of the light. When it comes to controlling the dots flood, you have several options. Control the fixture via DMX, run built-in programs, sound active mode, static colors, or even mix your own color. And of course, if you have multiple lights, you can run Master Slave to create some more advanced light shows. If you wanted to get really advanced, you can even pixel map via DMX with three different groups of control. As I mentioned earlier, on the back of the unit, we have an antenna. This light is compatible with the American DJ DF-FC wireless battery powered foot controller. This allows you to take control of your light show with your feet, black out, set static colours and run chases with speed control. Perfect for bands who want to run their own lighting or even a mobile DJ who wants to keep their hands free. I'll have another video coming soon where I go in depth about using the DF-FC with the dots flood. Right, that's enough talk for now, let's turn the light on and see what this thing can do.
So what can this light be used for? Well, it works great for mobile DJs or nightclubs to give a nice wash of the dance floor, thanks to the wide beam angle. Or use as a blinder, thanks to the high intensity output and the built-in pixel mapping effects. It also works great for theatre and stage applications, thanks to the lack of RGB shadows, the adjustable dimming curve, the adjustable white balance, and the barn doors to accurately focus the light onto the stage. It also works great for bands, alongside the American DJ DFFC wireless foot controller, allowing you to control your lighting while you perform. The other thing I need to point out is you're seeing this light through the eyes of the camera, so you're not getting a completely accurate view of what this thing can really do. For example, the hotspots that are showing up in the video aren't there in real life, that's just being captured on the camera. And also, the fixture appears much brighter in person than it does when it's being filmed on the camera. My favourite thing about this fixture is just the quality of light you get from it. A nice wide coverage, a high intensity output, and even wash with accurate and smooth colour mixing. LED technology has advanced a lot in the past decade, and this is another big leap forward. If you want to find out any more information about the American DJ Dots Flood, check out the first link in the description below. And if you have any questions or any suggestions of how I can put this light to the test, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.